A new study by the Dolphin Island Sea Lab is showing some concerning findings. Researchers say a lack of oxygen was found in parts of Mobile Bay. It's known as hypoxia. It can impact marine life, including the fishermen and shrimpers who depend on the bay. Our Ashley Mitchell sat down with the scientists leading this study. On June 11th, a team from the Dauphin Island Sea Lab took a routine trip along the continental shelf. Senior marine scientist Dr. Brian Dwankowski says they measured a lack of oxygen in the water offshore known as hypoxia. And the findings, he says, were concerning. There was a lot of low dissolved oxygen offshore. Uh, every station that we got to the bottom on our casts showed low, very low dissolved oxygen, in some cases almost anoxic, where that means there's no oxygen in the water, right? And so this is very bad for fish, shellfish, crabs, because they breathe air through their gills. We typically don't see large areas of low dissolved oxygen until July and August. Um, and so this was a little bit of a surprise. The team tested the water from the end of Petty Boy Island into Mississippi waters all the way across to the mouth of Mobile Bay. Dr. Dwinkowski says one reason oxygen levels could be so low is because of an increase in nutrients from river runoff. It does make sense that we saw lots of rain in May that works its way through the watershed and then through the bay and then out on the shelf. And so this is probably one of the causes of this very large area of hypoxia. He also notes factors like warming waters, urbanization, and a more stratified ocean. Cold water sitting below warm water, um, fresh water sitting above salty water. The stronger that layering, the less oxygen is going to get into the bottom water. Although scientists say this isn't an immediate cause for alarm, it could impact the ecosystem later on. Over time, if these areas of dissolved, low dissolved oxygen persist, you could see that working its way into the food chain, and, and maybe that means uh, less red snapper, maybe that means less blue crabs that we can catch. A team plans to get a fresh set of data from the same areas of water today. The Dolphin Island Sea Lab plans to test the water multiple times a month this summer. Of course, we'll update you with the findings.